Hey, welcome back to Jimmy's Go-Kart Build. You can see we're wearing masks now. We're on the back side of the coronavirus issue. Back in episode two, we laid out all the components on the ground to try to get the basic shape, size, length, width, height of the chassis. Now we're getting into putting an exoskeleton or a frame around it. So stay tuned while you watch us put this frame together. You can see we've got our four main frame tubes in. So we bent those up. We had to do some tweaking on them. Since we last talked, we've made a few alterations on the frame itself. We're gonna use inch and a quarter 095 firm ollie for the main hoop, the front kickers that come down to the main frame and the rear supports that go also to the main frame. So this is our pipe bender. We actually built this pipe bender here at first build. It uses a Harbor Freight air over oil cylinder, very inexpensive. We welded up and fabricated the rest of the assembly here. So what Jeremy's doing is marking the bend locations on the tube. So what we're mocking this frame up in is uh, ERW tubing. ERW is electric resistance welded tubing. It's very inexpensive as opposed to uh, using our DOM chrome molly tubing right from the beginning. The pedals are going to be tight. Yeah, they are. We're actually going to build this chassis twice. Once with ERW, get the dimensions correct. And we're going to build it again out of chrome molly. Now the chrome molly will go a whole lot faster because we'll be able to just take the marks off of the ERW tubing, the thin wall tubing, transfer it over to Chrome Molly and just go to town on it. You see how thin the wall is on that. That wouldn't hold hardly anything if we were to uh, run this thing into something solid. When we fire this engine up, this chassis is gonna wanna spin because that motor is gonna throw torque down the longitudinal beam of that chassis to wanna spin like this. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna fight that torsion with extra ladder bars. So we're gonna continue to put ladder bars all the way in and down. So to join two pieces of tubing together, we're gonna have to cut what's known as a bird's mouth into the piece that's joining the other piece. And we're gonna hog out a scallop in the end of that tube so that when we go to join it up on this tube, it'll match up just fine and we can weld it. Here's the finished scallop that just came off. That allows us to bring this tube in. How are you gonna get that angle? So we're gonna put it tight there. If there's one thing we got at first build, it's a lot of welders. This 210 MP is it's an awesome little welder for what we're getting ready to do. looking like a race car now. Where are you close. trying to get to? The center. So you're gonna cope that third tube. So we're out. basically just notching the bottom. What was the bottom is the bottom of the bird's right. mouth to fit is now an open section. Got it. So. Yes. So we're using that tape mark as our true reference point yes. to the front. All yes. right. We're using a flap disc on this grinder as opposed to an abrasive cutting wheel. It's, it's a gentler stock removal, so we can kind of creep up on the dimension as opposed to a more aggressive cut where if you overshoot, then we've got to go in and weld it back up. We like to use these flap discs to kind of blend it in subtly as opposed to heavy stock removal. Pretty tight. Pretty square. Now before we weld this one, we gotta fit the bottom one. That's really amazing. Oh, with the cart, you're gonna be amazed at how much the frame's gonna be probably a third to half the weight of this. So the, we're basically, driving. it's an engine and a rear axle rolling along and we're just kind of riding on it. <laughs> we're just kind of riding a frame. Tag her up. Tag her up. Tag her up. Now we're gonna start putting the, we're gonna put the hoop over and some supports on it. There is the hoop. So this is our main hoop. 
support, so if we do roll it over, the weight will be transferred down to the mainframe and keep it from crushing it. So he's right at six foot, so six foot driver is probably going to be our max on height, unless you want your head above the roll bar, and I think you're real, oh, we're good. We're good. you're real good. Oh, that's there sweet. There it is. Chassis coming along. Wait till we get some powder on that. See this booth right here? Right there, look at all them colors on the wall. If you got a suggestion for a color, let us know. Otherwise, it'll end up being black. The main hoop to this to be 95 degrees. Dial it in to 95. Dial it in to 95 degrees. Lock it down. Lock it down. Now we're getting ready. good. Coming up in episode four, you're gonna see us start to add rear swing, front A-arms, steering box. We're gonna bring you the suspension next.